We begin with the Fox 10 News Alert. A Tempe police officer recognized for his work to prevent drunk driving is on leave tonight for a DUI. Tempe police say Zachary Hyde was off duty when he was stopped by DPS. The department says they learned about it on Wednesday and take any criminal investigation into one of its officers very seriously. Hyde won't be returning to work until an internal affairs investigation is complete. A post on Tempe Police's Instagram page shows he was given a hero award from Mothers Against Drunk Driving back in June. We're learning more tonight about the Maricopa County Attorney's Office detective accused of killing his wife. Fox 10's Lauren Clark spoke with his family today and joins us live with the details. Lauren. Hey there, John and Christina. I spoke quite a bit to Bird's family, and they didn't want to go on camera, but we knew from court documents that Bird said he was suffering from some mental health issues, some type of depression. Well, his mom and his sister said it seemed to be way more extensive than that. They described him being on a mental decline since June 10th, really complaining about shearing pain in his brain and really struggling to execute some basic functions, and he was on medical medical leave during this time and they say he actually had an MRI scheduled for August 8th. Liz never seemed upset about anything. Neighbor Nisha struggled to find the words to describe her friend Elizabeth Bird, a woman who police say was strangled by her husband John Bird. The three kids were the same ages as my kids and they were just best friends and they would come over here and play all the time. Those who live next to the couple in East Mesa off of Crisman and Baseline described them as good people who loved their kids. John called Liz his queen. She was queen of the house many times. Like, we would just be talking and she, he would say that. It started as a call for a missing person. Court paperwork says Elizabeth's friend got worried when she didn't show up to a gym class on July 31st. She texted the 11-year-old son who told her him and the other kids, age 8 and 4, hadn't seen their mom all day and the bedroom was locked. Officers arrived for a welfare check and discovered Elizabeth in the room. Once in custody, documents say John confessed to killing his wife, stating he was going through some mental issues lately. A shocking admission for someone serving a career on the other side of the law. The 47-year-old worked as a detective for the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. He was on medical leave at the time of the killing and has no prior criminal history. Mr. Bird, good evening to you. At his first court appearance, the judge acknowledged possible mental complications while setting his bail. It does look like you have some self-reported, maybe some mental issues that are going on that I'm not really sure of what those are, if they've been diagnosed or not. I do have a little concern about the unpredictable nature um, of the act uh, at this point in time, and I think that the $750,000 secured at this point is a reasonable bond amount. Now, because of Bird's connection to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office, the Pinal County Attorney's Office will take over prosecution in this case. Reporting live in Phoenix, Lauren Clark, Fox 10 News.